Hey guys! Today I'll be swatching this nudie collection from Peripera Staple Line Ink the Velvet. I have these six new nude shades for you. Let's get straight to it. The first shade is number 25 Cinnamon Nude. I would describe it as a terracotta brown, warm and cozy kind. It has just a hint of rose. If you have pink hue on your natural lip, it would bring out more of that rosiness. This is my favourite nude shade from this collection and I highly recommend it if you have a similar skin tone to mine. Next up, I have number 27 Strawberry Nude. It has the most pink tone in this nudie collection. It is a milky pinky nude. I'm very sure this would look amazing on cooler skin tones but for those of us with warmer skin tones, unfortunately it barely works. And if you have lighter skin tone than mine, it should still be wearable for you because I noticed that this shade has a little bit of warmth to it. Number 28 Morphe Nude is a Morphe nudie shade as the name suggests. I'd say it also has a teeny weeny bit of greyish undertone. I find this shade more flattering than Strawberry Nude on my light medium warm skin tone. I'd wear this on days that I do cooler smoky eyes. The next shade I have is number 29, Coco Nude. I describe it as a cool dark brown nude. Again, it has a visible amount of grey hue to it, which I was slightly disappointed by as those kind of shades with grey hue make me look a bit dead, as you can see. But hey, this may look great on cooler skin tones. To make this look wearable on me, I would pair this with the cooler smoky eyes just like the previous shade. Number 30 Classic Nude is another let down shade for me, sadly. It looks so beautiful on the website. However, on my lip, it looks very light and grey. I'm not very sure if it is my skin undertone or the natural lip shade that makes it look that way. But at this point, I might as well just cover my lips with a concealer and call it a day. But jokes aside, if you have a much fairer skin tone than mine, this would work as a nudie shade for you for sure. Next, for number 31, Wine Nude, it is a lovely mauve shade that is fairly deep, which I appreciate for it being in a nudie collection. It has a calm and collected vibe to it, without it looking vampy. If you like Morphe Nude that I have shown you guys earlier and wished that it is a tad darker or has lesser pink tone, you would definitely love this shade. Let's take a look at these 6 nude shades once more. 
So, what are my final thoughts? To be frank, I was quite disappointed by this nudie collection as it has a lot of greyish undertone to most of them, which in general, may not look that flattering on warm skin tones like mine. However, I am very happy that this formula stay consistent for these new nude shades as Peripera Ink The Velvet has one of my favourite formula from Korean brands since many years ago. If you are looking for a warmer, deeper nudie shades and have darker complexion than mine, I would highly recommend you checking out Romaine instead. But don't get me wrong, my love for this Peripera Ink The Velvet line is still strong. Just that, I prefer other shades from this line than these nudie shades, except for Cinnamon Nude and Wine Nude. And if you are wondering why I did not include thorough product details of these and comparison swatches just like my other videos, it's because I am intending to do a full review of these in a separate video. So do stay tuned for that if you are interested. Thanks for watching till the end and I hope that this video was helpful for you. See you in my next video.